Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you happen to be new around here, I am Trevor and this is Anna. We are the Delightful Travelers. Make sure to hit subscribe, click on the bell to follow along on our adventures. So a couple of videos ago, we compared our quarantine here in the Philippines against our home country of Canada mm. and we had so much fun doing it that we decided to do it again. But yeah. this time we're gonna compare the Philippines with the UK. So those that have been following along, you might recall in the last video that we mentioned that here in Palawan, we'd recently changed from an enhanced quarantine quarantine to a general quarantine that just happened a few days ago. A lot of you guys had questions about what that meant and just by default we will be answering that today as we go through the uh, different quarantines. So we are super excited today because we have appearing on the vlog two of our favorite people in all of the UK. They're the travel beans. Alex and Emma make fantastic vlogs. They're super fun. They travel all over the place. They're digital nomads. If you want to laugh and watch <laughs> travel content at the same time, they're definitely the people for you. Yeah, and they're known to get a little bit tipsy at times. And fun fact, we met up with them last year in Bali and we all got tipsy together and then went for Mexican food. How we typical. We had tacos <laughs> together. So totally typical. So before we get into it, we have some numbers to show you guys here in the Philippines at the time of recording this, there are 9,500 confirmed cases. And in the UK, there are 191,000 confirmed cases. Of course, you have to keep in mind that they're doing a hell of a lot more testing in the UK than they are here in the Philippines. So the first question is, what are your quarantine rules there? So the quarantine rules in the UK are pretty straightforward. Basically, you're not allowed to meet with people outside of your household in social situations. So no gatherings, no parties, nothing like that. Um, essentially, we're only allowed to leave the house for a handful of reasons. The first one will be for key workers, so people who need to get to work, of course, they can leave the house. We're also allowed to exercise. We can only go out once a day and you can drive to go to your exercise, but this is contentious more amongst the people. But the official rule is you can do that. Um, and then other than that, we also can go to the supermarkets as well. So there are rules in the supermarkets these days. So they only have a certain amount of people that they allow in at one time. So quite often you see a little line of people outside waiting to go in, all like two meters apart from each other. And then as you go in, they sort of spray down the trolley that you're gonna use to go around the shop and it's kind of a one way system. So that sounds about as consistent with all of the other countries. Everyone keeps telling us that their experience with the quarantine seems to be basically what you guys just said. So as we said before, we were in an enhanced quarantine mm -hmm. uh, up until a few days ago, and that basically meant that only one person was allowed out at a time. Yep. You needed to have a pass to go out, and you were only allowed to go pr for provision. So no exercising, none of that stuff. Mm -hmm. You just had to go get what you were getting and then come right back. Come right back. But some things have changed. So now we are allowed out uh, as two. You can see that in the last video that we put out. It was uh, Anna's first day in out town. on the town and one of the other things that changes we are now allowed outside to exercise so that's a small win I'll take it yeah it, that's great yeah we have as we said we have not been allowed to do that so that's been yeah. really really nice that we can at least go out and do stuff one thing we're not quite sure about is if we can go in the water like in the yeah. ocean to go swimming no one's really answered that question there are, is a huge list of quarantine rules and that's not mentioned so no but it's yeah, kind if of anyone from El Nido is watching this <laughs> let us in, know yeah that it's, knows the it is kind of strange because <laughs> another rule that happened is some shops are open so you can actually go to a barber shop that's really small and sit next to other people but as far as we know we're not allowed in the ocean yet so yeah, but clothing stores I think also were allowed to open that was listed in the rules I don't know if any of them actually did open here in El Nido but mm. it's in the rules that a few more shops types yeah. of shops were allowed to open clothing and barber shops were in there uh, the only people that currently are not allowed out at all are people under 21 yep. and people over 60 okay so the next question that we asked these guys are people breaking the rules there or are they following them on the most part people here in the UK are following the rules originally when it was all coming out that there was gonna be a lockdown people seem to be very reluctant yeah but the but the public opinion changed very quickly. And now people kind of scold people if they're out for too long. Yeah. There's people looking on Facebook groups saying like, who's been out taking pictures? <laughs> <laughs> it's gone from one extreme to the other. Like everyone not really taking it seriously when it was just a request to stay inside. But now that it's changed to more of like an order, um, everyone's taking it really seriously. In the UK as well recently, we've had a bit of a heat wave, which is very rare for us. So people do want to go out and enjoy it. Mm. Uh, considering that's been going on, people have been obeying the rules very, very well. 
That said, I know that there's been an increase in traffic and there is an increase in people going outside. So people are starting to lose a little bit of that original vigor that they had for the lockdown. So that answer is very similar to here at the beginning. No one quite knew what to do and just how serious to take. And there this weren't whole exact pandemic. rules at first either, no. especially in the first week or two. Everyone was just kind of confused about what we were supposed to do, what we yeah. were allowed to do, what we weren't allowed to do. Uh, but it definitely, as the enhanced quarantine went on, it became clearer and clearer yeah. and they set more guidelines. Now that we're into the uh, general quarantine, I think people are still kind of figuring out what we're allowed. Like we said, we don't know if we can go in the ocean, stuff like that. Yep. Which is a little bit of confusion about some things, but in general, yeah, it's like everyone's following the rules as much as yep. they can. So the next question we asked them is, what are you doing to keep yourself occupied? Keeping occupied during the quarantine has been pretty easy for us because we work online anyway so we've basically just been throwing ourselves into our work um, we've also been picking up a few more hobbies um, for example for me I've started a meditation course and a online yoga course which has been pretty great and for me I have been winning the lockdown because <laughs> of an investment that I made right at the beginning of it <laughs> I have been playing virtual reality on the PlayStation and looking like a legend. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Another thing that I've been doing a lot of since the lockdown is cooking and eating, of course, um, which has been actually a blessing in disguise because I don't usually get the opportunity to have access to a kitchen when we're on the road. So being home in one place for a prolonged period of time has helped me get some of my cooking skills back, which is nice. We totally hear you on uh, the cooking, especially while traveling. It's always a challenge even in normal circumstances. And now here we are and well, we don't have a kitchen. So we're doing the complete opposite right now. Yeah, but I will say I actually, this one thing I miss when we travel for long periods of time and now we're in yeah. quarantine, not having a kitchen. I, I, I feel like it's one of those things I miss and then I, when we get home, I do it for like a week and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> it gets I'm tired of fast. this, but I yeah. miss it at the moment. But we, we've been keeping busy as well. We're, we've been getting a lot of things done. We had this long list of tasks, kind of uh, maintenance tasks, and just things for our website to get done. And we've been slowly picking them off. We finally started our Patreon up. We've talked about that for years. And another thing that we just uh, did as of today, we uh, launched our merchandise store. So you can go to our delightful traveler site and check out our shop and all our new uh, swag. So <laughs> excited about it. Uh, this is another thing about being in quarantine here in the Philippines is that now I want to order a bunch of it, but I can't do it. At the, I, I mean, it might take a while to ship it to the Philippines and We're not probably be gone by then. So <laughs> I mean, that makes me excited to get home and order some stuff. Yes. The next question we asked is, when do you think things will go back to normal? I feel like we're going to need to get used to a new normal for quite some time. Mm. I, I know it sounds a bit pessimistic, but I feel like we're not going to get to see anything that we experience as normal for probably at least another year mm. until there's a vaccine. And of course now everyone's an expert in virology <laughs> and I am also one of those experts and I, I pessimistically think we're looking at the end of next year but that doesn't mean that we can't have anything to look forward to. True. Well one I could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope. But also I think we will get to experience some more but I do think we'll have things to look forward to like they will loosen restrictions at least mm. here in the UK and so hopefully we can start to be able to do a bit of travel around the UK. Yeah that's what we're most hopeful for I mean of course um, overseas travel is going to be something that's restricted for quite a long time because not every country is going to be at the same level with the virus um, but being able to travel within the UK is something that we cannot wait to do right now. So we had to come inside once again because it is so hot out it's just getting hotter by the day here in the Philippines and it's that t type of heat like if you're out for five minutes you just start to sweat just standing still. Yeah the last few days have been a little bit rainy here and there mm -hmm. with some thunder showers and like the humidity is just over the top. Yeah. You just literally sweat, <laughs> step outside and are glistening. Sweat. It's changed a lot in the last few <laughs> weeks but uh, yeah to go back to what Alex said well I really hope he is wrong but unfortunately I feel like He's probably right. He's a smart guy, he is. So yeah, probably not a lot is going to change before a vaccine is available. Yeah. Ho I'm hoping, at least trying to be hopeful that over the summer, at least in North or like Western yeah. world, uh, summertime, will um, things will like s s calm down a little yeah, bit with calm the down. virus and then we can maybe do a few things. I mean, it's probably going to be like that here and that's what we're hoping for as well. Just we're going to try to ride this out. Right now, May 15th is kind of the end date. We don't expect it to just end on that day, but if we can just go around 
Palawan a little bit, that would make us extremely happy. Honestly, if we could just go up to Nakpan Beach, which is a half hour away, we would be extremely stoked because that beach is absolutely beautiful. So we haven't seen it yet. We're told it's absolutely so, beautiful. <laughs> we're trying to be optimistic, Alex, but at the mm -hmm. same time, I, I get your point, and I think I really do think you are right. Mm -hmm. So, a last question is where is the first place you want to travel to when this mm -hmm. is all over? We really want to travel the UK because we know that is going to be the place that we'll be able to travel first. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of hard to get motivated to think about future travels, even yeah. as a travel YouTube channel. Definitely. Just because it's not something that's really available to buy on the shelf at the moment. Yes, but before all this happened, we were on our way to Europe for a trip around Europe um, interrailing, which hopefully we'll be able to do once this all finishes. And doing a trip to Morocco was near the top of our list as well. So hopefully we'll actually get to do those things once this is over. We always change our mind on where we want to travel as well. So I'm very <laughs> reluctant to say a place because this could be used as a stick to beat me with when we choose somewhere <laughs> completely different. <laughs> Well, that sounds like a great uh, itinerary, to be honest. Like going around the UK, that's something well, we've never we've, done. <laughs> we, we've talked about doing it a lot. Mm. Obviously, that's not going to happen for quite a while. High on the list, though. But yeah. And then you also mentioned Morocco, and that would be, you know, I'm sure that one would be far off, but I totally get it. I mean, we were talking about in the last video we did where we compared the Philippines to Canada, like we would love to get to Thailand, and that's mm. still something. we were supposed to go there on this trip. Yeah. yeah. But that's not going to happen. So, I mean, that's probably going to be another trip now. So, I would imagine if, uh, if we're here in, in the Philippines when the lockdown ends, we will try to go around here just a little bit. But if not, and we end up back in Canada because we find a flight that's somewhat affordable, yeah. then odds are we're going to be hanging yeah, around Yeah, we'll Canada. do some domestic stuff. I know some people commented on that last video where we talked about yes. where did the comparison to uh, Canada, and people did seem interested in seeing a ca uh, Canada series. So yeah. that could be, that could that, happen. That'd be fine. It would just take forever to go across the country. I don't know if we'd go across <laughs> the whole country. <laughs> Maybe we would. Who knows? So thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this. We may or may not do a few more of these yeah. if you still Got keep enjoying ideas. them. Some other countries we'd love to do comparisons with, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. uh, we'd love to know where you are quarantining and what your quarantine is like, so please leave a comment below. Absolutely. And a big thanks to the Travel Beans for coming on the vlog today. Make sure you guys all go subscribe to them for some amazing content yeah, as well. We will link them below so you can easily find them. Yeah. And if you got this far in the video, probably means you like it, why not hit that thumbs up button and uh, hit subscribe. Click on the bell for more videos just like this. All right, guys, that's it. From El Nido, wishing you a safe and healthy quarantine. See you soon.